Okay, going at the maze for 2024. Uh, last year we cut it because it was burning up, and this year we'll be lucky to get it out with the rain. Now, today is promised okay, and yesterday was okay, and tomorrow is, uh, we promised 17 to 18 mil. The only thing I don't like about today is it's very windy, so when you're open in the field, uh, anywhere the maze is light, it'll blow it away. Because your man doesn't put the, har uh, he should merely put the trailer behind the harvester today. So, I have two of the tractors here, and we'll have them geared up a chains because last week it never stopped raining. And uh, just want to get out of it now, and <coughs> don't know again whether I'm going to have uh, one pit or two pits. Last year I couldn't fit it in the two pits, Harley. So that's the way it is. I, I hope to have two kind of three quarter pits. If I'd have that, I'd be happy, or one good one. But anyway, not to worry. The main thing now today is to get it out and in because tomorrow we'll promise all this rain and get uh, the pits covered. So uh, we're starting uh, shortly and uh, I don't know if Laura is very windy for a drone, I'm not sure. Uh, what else was I going to say? Yeah, it's kind of, parts of it is very good, the maze, and other parts is very bad and that's all due to the ground conditions. So uh, hopefully all goes to plan, and we have the pits and all ready. And everything is ready now, just to, if we're able to stay afloat. Because over here we have, uh, the ground is not, we have some wet land as such, but when you get all that rain, there's an awful dip to side. And uh, it just takes a while for the rain to go down. And it never really got much of a break all year. We have lots of grass, lots of silage, uh, cattle prices are good. If I get this out of the ground, there's always something many of us, but uh, if I get this uh, into the pits, be the next happy stage. Okay.
we are now on the way to Clermont Ferrand. Um, so didn't get to finish watching or filming the maze. I don't know if mum and dad are going to film any of the rest of it or how they're going to get on. Last I saw they had a breakdown or something but it was just about back up and running. So hopefully that all goes well but unfortunately I cannot stay to film the rest because I have to go to, so Clermont Ferrand is where the um, big agricultural salon called the Somme de Levage. So that's happening this year and I am on the stand with Enterprise Ireland. So Enterprise Ireland are bringing over um, five, five Irish companies to market. Now there's supposed to be a lot of other Irish brands um, but these are the ones with Enterprise Ireland and I am on the stand with Abbey Machinery who you all probably know and have heard of for sure. Um, so I'm doing translating with them. A lot to learn about slurry and hopefully I can translate it all okay but it'll be very interesting to see the show since so it's a four day show. The weather's not promised too good um, but yeah we'll see so hopefully mum and dad get on okay with the maze and I will try and film as much of the show as I can. Um, don't know how much time I'll get to go around it as I am on the stand. But yeah that's what's going on next. Now I've been told to turn the microphone around. Right. So here's one pit and the start of a second pit. It's running late into the evening because your man had a the the guy cutting had a, a breakdown. The French lad said that 18 wild boar ran out of the maze. It's a pity we didn't get shots of it because uh, it was too windy to put up the drone. And Laura has gone to the Summit de Lavage now, so she wasn't there to get to see it. Because it's promised 25 mil of rain tonight, so we're going to get some sort of cover on it. And here we have another tractor rolling in. So we are at the Summit of Levage in Clermont Ferrand. So I am here working for Abbey Machinery behind me. So they're bringing, this is their first tanker on the stand in France. Um, so basically Enterprise Ireland hosts the stand and they have five Irish companies that are brand new to the, to the French market. There's a lot of Irish here at the show. Every year I'm seeing more and more Irish companies here. I think this year there's something like 17 Irish companies. Um, so these five, but then others who already have their have their dealers. Okay, so day two of the show. So just popped away from the stand for a few seconds while it's during lunchtime. A bit busier today now than yesterday. We're just gonna go around the few limousines. There's a good few breeze here, um, but I'm not gonna get to go up and down all of the roads. Then there's a few different pins where they do the show cattle. Um, fine bulls in there now at the moment. This year the main breed is actually Salers. So about half the tent in here, half the shed is just full of Salers. They're the number one breed. Every year the Summit de Levage, it being the best or supposedly the best livestock um, show in Europe. Every year they host one breed as the main one, I guess, and then so this year's the Solaires, next year it could be the Limousine or the Charolais. Mm 
Oh, I better get back to the stand. Okay, coming in here now, day three. Um, it's nice and peaceful when you get here early. So in through one of the halls. So we're at the far end of hall one. It's a nice big setup that they have here for the summit in the zenith. Um, a lot of indoor areas, all outdoors tarmac. Sorry about the lights flickering. Unfortunately, the GoPro can't change that. All the beer kegs. So over here, um, it's very common that all stands will have a bit of food and drink for their customers. And yeah, customers just go up and they have their wine and their beer and everything. Flickering lights here again. I don't know what this is a competition for. Here with Fergal. Hello, Laura. Mr. We're with the Malone crowd. Um, yeah. Surely, yeah. So how long have you been out in France now? I've uh, been out, came out last uh, Sunday. So we're here now. Uh, oh, I meant how long is Malone? Tell oh, it in sir. France. <laughs> <laughs> so it's about me. Uh, <laughs> come on, come on. Um, I we started with a, a Hugo MMP uh, company that we met in Igo Technic in November. Yeah. So this is our first year really in, in France. So. And this is your first show then? Obviously. This is our first show, the Summer Levay show here, which we are on Enterprise Ireland stand with a number of uh, Irish manufacturers. So yeah, um, yeah so it's, it's, it's a start really of the French yeah. and the French market. So yeah. So. yeah. so day three, one day left tomorrow, but bulk of people have come in now. How has been the reaction? What are people thinking of it? Yeah, well, people are looking at our products. We have just two of our products here at the, uh, at the show. So yeah, people like, like the strength and they like the, the look of the machine. So maybe something a bit different. So yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so far the reaction is good. So. Yeah, that's good. And you're fluent in French now. Of course, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I heard you last night at the restaurant ordering your wine. You're fluent uh, yeah, in well, French. Yeah, like, come to drink, there's no problem. Yeah. First word, <laughs> that and food. Okay. Think you back to the show next year or will you do any other shows around France? Uh, hopefully back to the show now. It seems yeah. to be the main show in France. Yeah. Uh, show. A lot of visitors. The weather, a bit Irish at the moment. But next year will be better. Yeah, next year will yeah. Be better. So, yeah, I'd say that we'll be we're definitely back in the show next year, okay. but probably with our own stand. And the real question is when are you sending us one of these now? Oh, just Laura. <laughs> I might give you that one if you're. Yeah, yeah. If you're room in the car, yeah. We do. I'll pop a trailer on the back. That's I'll all right. The trailers next door. Pop that inside. We'll drop it down to you. Yeah. We'll do that. Yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so John Murphy, you all know him back in Ireland. So he's here at the show as well, promoting your your concrete trust yeah. and that. So tell me a little bit about the French show. How's it been for you so far? Uh, it's it's been fantastic. Uh, what we received, uh, the information received back from and the feedback from farmers, yeah. uh, it's just been uh, unbelievable. Especially our drinking trucks. It's one of our key products. We came out here to promote. Uh, we're here to promote uh, or support some of our dealers as well. But um, yeah, it's been really, really yeah. good, really positive. Yeah. So we're on day three now. Apparently, all the Irish bought the Irish weather. It's uh, weather, so we're day say. three, but we're after having two days of rain. Yeah, but it's yeah. uh, supposed to be tomorrow. Tomorrow's promised a sunny day, so you might get some French. We're, we're used to it, so we're yeah, okay. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, so, are you getting used to drinking all the wine in the cafe and the croissants in France and that? It's, it's really strange uh, when we're used to doing our own shows yeah. back home and there's none of that, but here uh, it's, 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 it's okay to have a glass of wine. Uh, with your customers on the stand, so it's interesting, yeah. yeah, yeah. And are you finding that the French are open to Irish products coming into the country or yeah, into the market? Yeah, and they're open, uh, I think like there's 16 or 17 Irish companies here yeah. at the show, and they're, they are very open to Irish uh, Irish products, and especially when you have a good quality Irish product, yeah. this is what they're it's really looking for. It's been recognised now yeah. as quality. Yeah, it's what they're really okay. looking for, yeah. Well, hopefully yeah. the rest of the show goes well, and uh, hopefully, yeah. see you here again next year. With a bit of luck, yeah, hopefully, yeah. Hopefully. And we hopefully. leave. Uh, we just want French weather next year, not yeah, Irish weather. French weather. <laughs> uh, well, you got the French weather at the ploughing, so that's yeah, what happened. Yeah, yeah, exactly. We swapped yeah. over for once. <laughs> okay, thank Thanks. you. So, a lot of different companies at the show this year. There's a lot of brands over here that are French brands that you wouldn't really see at the other shows because they're just kind of um, 
I don't think people realise just how many French manufacturers there are. It's a very difficult market to get into. Here you have toppers. Now of course we have over at the stand here, Prodig. Um, so I did a bit of work with Prodig in the past. We have our own Prodig, the bale grabber and the Prodig pro slice. Um, so they're here with Supertino. They're on the same stand here as Tanko. So I'm here with Paddy. So you're one of the two Paddies at the Drummond stand today. So we're here with the, mainly with the ball and spoon to yeah. just see our uh, the farmers and dealers familiar with the product mm -hmm. and uh, just to get some feedback what their thoughts are and to see is there more of a market here for us with that yeah. product along with the pickup pitch that you've seen more from there as well. Yeah. And then what's this new one here that you have in the middle? Uh, that is construction? More construction, that's a tilt tilt coupler okay. and we just said we brought we bring it because there is some construction dealers here yeah. and we had some people in that's interested in the product mm -hmm. so we see how it goes you know we do the standard coupler as well and uh, it's just another product that we manufacture at okay. home as well so, yeah. so it's day four it's a bit of a cold one now today yeah but all of that <laughs> yeah how's the stand been for you uh, the last two days the wedding day on Thursday was quite good busy yeah. uh, first day a little bit slower then weather wasn't yeah. great and uh, yeah, it seems a bit quieter today, but that's expected, so. So are all, you happy with the, yeah. the turnout? And yeah, happy with the turnout and the layout and all yeah. went well so far anyway, so. That's good, and how have the French received then your hitches? What did they say, what's the feedback in general? Some aren't that familiar with it, and then there was a lot in, a lot of dealers or whatever that are aware of the product, and uh, yeah, and we got some very good feedback, and people that were familiar with the product yeah. and used it as well, end users. And okay. Yeah, so all was yeah. good. Yeah, oh, we can. That's great. Well, yeah. We might see you here then next year as well. All going well. Oh, yeah. Okay, right. All right, Thank thanks, you. Laura. Well, I shouldn't have asked now if you're busy, because it's been four days trying to get a video with you. <laughs> so how is the show for you anyways? It's been a brilliant, brilliant show. Um, yeah, it's our first time, you know. In France. In France. Yeah. So we really came over, didn't know what to expect. But yeah, we. it's been great for us. It's been busy every day. Yeah. So... Why did you decide to come to France? Because these, tro these, sorry, tro <laughs> So, why did you decide to come to France? Because these trailers aren't really regular over here. Like, it's very rare to use cattle trailers on tractors and use trucks. But it's very rare now to see these. So, what pushed you to come to the French market? I think they're, they're lacking a good quality trailer out here, you know? Um, they've got Jeeps now on the road, well yeah. capable of pulling them. So, now they're, they're looking for something to go on behind this yeah. Jeep. So. That's true, there is yeah. a lot more 4x4s four to so the white vans that these have, these have yes. way back when. <laughs> uh, well, that's, that's only a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah. A... And they've great cattle too, you know, big strong yeah. cattle, so they need something to take a bit of abuse as well. So, so how long have you been going? How long has MTech been around? Well, three and a half years going now. Yeah, so, so, so fresh enough, but fresh still enough, yeah. quite well established now. So I see you all over, I see you are on farm flicks, you're in the ploughing, you're... We're Try everywhere for the past Try couple of months. Hard, yeah. <laughs> Can't turn the corner in you there. I was just good. And yeah. whereabouts are you based then in Ireland? Swanland Bar and County Cavan. Cavan. Okay. Yeah. All right, guys. Right. Yeah. And so you have the sheep trailer with the loading deck and the cattle trailer. Which one the past couple of days now has been the most popular? It's been fairly even. 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely 50-50, yeah. Not a lot of sheep in my area, so I don't know what the sheep guys are like over here at all. Is yeah. there a few of them at this show? Yeah, seven foot high as well. If you want to go for the seven foot high, the cattle have the horns out here. Yeah. Want the no decks, horn the restrictions out here, yeah. Yeah. something like that. There's actually, no caustic or must have nothing to go on the horn. A lot of ones actually goats yeah. and horses. As well, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah so yeah. It's, it's very it's mixed. mixed. Yeah. It's very, and it's not, there doesn't seem to be one farmer specifically cows or sheep. A lot yes. of them have goats, horses, sheep. They kind of do a mixture. mixture. Yeah, yeah, mixture. Yeah. Mixed farms, yeah. Is this the only show you're going to do in France or do you think you're going to do more shows? Well, we've took on dealers now, so they'll, yeah. you know. That was quick. That. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this from before the show or just the show? Just at the show, sure, we yeah. met with the meetings. Yeah. 
So they're going to do about a dozen shows in throughout the year. So okay, yeah, there's a lot of shows them. in France. Yeah, there is. Now, this is probably it's known as the best livestock show in France, especially for cattle. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it's like now for sheep if it is That's or not. Serious show, machinery, show, so. and the cattle in the arena that they're judged. They're not all yeah. unbelievable. And what would you say those cows that you saw are like compared to the what's at home? They're serious cattle. Yeah. <laughs> they're, like they're like rhinos. The legs on them are like that. It's uh, unreal. They are so cattle like. Sure. And, uh, there's some, whoops, there's some good breed here. There is. There is um, yeah. But Solaire's was on show mm. as the main one this mm -hmm. year. Um, but uh, yeah, they seem to have a little bit of everything on there. I only got over there once. Yeah. But did you get to go around the show much yourselves? Or? The first day we did, we we came for setup, so we got a good look around. On Monday yeah. before the show actually started, yeah. yeah. Okay. Just got a quick power here and there. But now you'd want a lot of time to get around that thing, so you would now. So we met good. a good few Irish lads as well, which is good so, to see, uh, yeah. and women, of course. Yeah, um, yeah. A good few over, a few over from Nav or Meath, Mead. Um, Cork, Armagh, Armagh, Limerick. Um, so that was good to see that. There's a good international community that come over yeah, here from all over. There's a few buses from Ireland now that mm. come out. Yeah, so that was brilliant to yeah. see that. And as well as that, big shout out to all the Irish manufacturers. It was unbelievable to see the amount of Irish manufacturers. Yeah, 17 of them over here from what I hear. It's class. It's so good to see that. to see them all, but I think I've seen about a good 10 of them and then five or so. So yeah, yeah. it was brilliant. Fair amount. Yeah. Yeah. So you'll be back next year? We're back next year. Yeah. Back next year. You yeah. heard it here better. first. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know, that's great. Well, look, it's lovely to meet you and uh, you. Yeah. you too yeah, Laura. we'll be yeah. in contact again soon probably yeah absolutely god only knows what yeah oh, I have to <laughs> next year's show if all else fails yeah yeah, yeah absolutely you'll be following them tech you never know yeah oh well <laughs> Does that mean you're sending this one? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Email to follow. <laughs> we'll have to see now. You can talk with Dad about the Murphy trailer. And he decides to change we'll chat it all later over. On, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Good all luck, right. then. Thanks. So, the Mum and Dad have arrived at the stand. A few things gone now already. Um, just going to see how we can fit. We're picking up two Murphy concrete troughs, tractor weight at the end, and this low J feeder. Not exactly sure how it's going to fit into the trailer, but I guess we'll see. So you made it to the summit? Yeah. <laughs> to the after show of it. The summit, I'm picking up the Murphy truss and weight. And how are you going bringing it home? On the Agro Williams. I thought I'd get a trailer and I wouldn't have to bring this one. M Tech are gonna make me a 16 foot trailer. Uh, for bringing the stock boats. Everyone else thinks I'm mad. And uh, maybe, uh, yeah, they have a great stand here. And Abby has good tanker. So uh, how was it the show go for you? Yeah, it's good. A lot of interest. Uh, a lot of dealers. So oh, it's yeah. in! You mean those crackers? It's up! Oh, why? Did you bring a packed lunch? All packed up. Now don't show Murphy. Well, that's how we got it in. Uh, Hang on, I can't hear you. What if there's another truck? <laughs> All I need now is Murphy's address to send on the bed for <laughs> shipping it. And thank uh, Murphy Concrete very much. Uh, I've seen the truss before. I haven't seen the feeder one. That's well made. And the weight is really impressive. Anyone that's looking for a weight, like it's really professional and looks nice. It doesn't just look, it looks really nice. Uh, that's gonna look nice on the T7. Right, now I want to go home. It's been long. Yeah. Goodbye. So, uh, that's it. We thought we'd get to meet him here, but we didn't. What? We thought we'd get to meet Murphy, John Murphy yeah. here, but we didn't. Sorry I didn't meet him, but I might have got more of him. <laughs> okay. He was gone a long time, just in case. <laughs> right, go on. Goodbye. Uh,